In this video, I'll share four practices that I've used to train mind and body that help me avoid burnout. Let's get into it. First, and arguably the most important, is to work out every day. You don't have to fight or be a warrior in the literal sense, but you do need to move your body. I personally work out every day, usually with one light day where I only do Qigong or yoga. But the other days, it's weights, jujitsu, or both. For tens of thousands of years, we actually had to fight for our lives from predators, from other tribes, and starvation. We had to farm, hunt. The point is we had to move our bodies a lot. It might feel like you're fighting for your life when you get an unwelcome email from your boss because our bodies are meant to be put through stressful situations. Our nervous systems react too severely than is actually required in today's world. The pharmaceutical companies love it. Our heart starts beating faster when we face stressful situations, which is helpful when being chased by a tiger, but not so much when your computer dings. We evolved to run and fight to be very active all day, but now we have to create ways to burn through this or we sit around and wonder why we have all this nervous energy that builds up throughout the day. This is why we need exercise. It's up to you to take control of it. I want to give you the tools for free. Most of this stuff is free. It doesn't cost anything to watch some workout videos. You just have to do it. The thinking mind is going to try and stop you. Just avoid that. Think less do more. I'm not a doctor, but I promise you, no one's ever started a consistent workout routine and felt worse. It's the first step set of the hardest, getting out of the bed, not hitting the snooze alarm. Maybe you're not feeling confident. And a little bit about that is like, a lot of us are not feeling confident because it's your relationship with yourself. This is what people mean when they say, how is your relationship with yourself? We all tell ourselves we're gonna go do certain things, but for some reason we talk ourselves out of it. We seek comfort. That doesn't seem so bad, but you're not living up to your own expectation. This is what we mean when we ask, what's your relationship with yourself? When you let yourself down over and over, that stuff starts to build up. It builds up and suddenly one day you wake up and you have zero motivation and zero confidence. It's time to change that. Get up and work out tomorrow morning, or right now, after this video. This brings me to the next practice, free writing. I picked up this practice when I read the book by Julia Cameron called The Artist's Way. I've been on and off of this practice, but when I look back at my life, it was when I was free writing daily that I was most creative and productive. This is ideally done in the mornings. Julia Cameron calls it morning pages. For this practice, you just write for three whole pages. You're not thinking about what you're writing, but you're writing what you're thinking. We have so many thoughts in our head. When we dump them onto the pages, it leaves room for more clarity throughout the rest of the day. Empty in the mind, clear space for more ideas, and they will come flooding in. Empty your cup so that it can be filled. This happens to me a lot while I'm writing. I find myself remembering things I need to do, ideas I need to get started on, but don't let them distract you from finishing. Make a list and keep going until you finish those three pages. Over time, you'll want to reflect on the many stories we're telling ourselves, stories that may be keeping you on a certain path. We'll explore this further in the future. The next practice will be to meditate. We all know that meditation is useful. We all know that it's good for us, but I just wanna tell you a few things that might help you actually meditate, make you understand it on a deeper level. Most people say they can't meditate because I think too much, like, like they're special or something. I know this because I've been teaching meditation for uh, about four years now. I'm here to tell you that it's completely normal for your thinking mind to be going on all day. Even among some of the most skilled meditators in the world, a mindful meditation expert of 30 years was once asked how long they could hold their focus. And their response after some contemplation was, seven seconds, but they bring it back to the present moment. That's the whole point. It's noticing where your attention is, noticing when your attention is away from you or when it's lost in the future, or analyzing the future or the past. So when you bring it back to the present moment, this is what we call a push-up for the mind. This is from the book, Peak Mind. Not enough people understand what the present moment actually is. My favorite way to explain it is presence is experiencing. When you're experiencing, feeling, tasting, smelling, seeing, hearing, you're present. You can only do these things in the present moment. Your mind's made to keep you alive and alert of your surroundings. Once again, 
not equipped for this level of convenience that we have today. You only need 12 minutes today to have profound changes in levels of focus, clarity, awareness, and more. Just know you are awareness, experiencing this world through this body. You're not what you think, you're not what you feel, you are the experiencer of those thoughts and feelings. This is why you can talk to ourselves. That's why we know we talk to our, in our heads. When we see or we hear the thoughts, you are the one viewing the thoughts. There is the thinking mind and the watcher of the thinking mind. We'll explore this more deeply in the future. So start today, after this video. Just find a comfortable position. You'll spread your awareness throughout your body and breathe in about six seconds in and six seconds out using the lowest part of your belly and breathing through the nose. I call it LSD breathing, long, slow, and deep. The longer, slower, and deeper, the better. You can do this right now, actually, while you're listening to me. This is actually a good daily practice to check in and elongate your breath. So while you're meditating, you wanna expand your awareness on the inhales and then relax a little bit deeper on the exhales. The last thing I wanted to recommend, guys, is reading. Obviously, our attention is spread thin and reading rarely seems like the best option in the world of constant stimulation. We have to choose the path of improvement at all times, mind and body. Learning new things and getting new perspectives is a must if you wanna improve in your entrepreneurial journey. Join our Facebook group where we have a book club and discuss what we read every week. We read at a reasonable pace of about 10 pages per day. When you join the group, you'll also get a document on this modern two-fold way. So don't forget, like and subscribe and join the Facebook group and we'll see you in the next video. Or check out this video or this one. <laughs>